Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And for all you new subscribers, welcome. Thank you for joining us. And everyone that's been here from the beginning and in the middle, thank you guys for coming back to watch another video of mine. So today's video is gonna be about how a makeup artist would do my face, in my opinion, and then how I do my face currently with our current face routine. I wanted to do this because I remember back in the day when I first started trying to play with makeup, I would never let anyone touch my face. Mainly because a lot of makeup artists don't really know what to do with my skin tone. Some of them would barely put anything on my face. They would like skip the whole foundation thing and be like, oh my God, you don't need that. And I'm just like, is it because I don't need it? Or is it because you don't have anything in your kit that matches me? After a while there, I was just like, nope, I'm the only one doing my face. I don't care what you have to say, I'm doing it. But recently I met some really cool makeup artists that have showed me their techniques that have had a really well-rounded education in different skin tones and like different skin textures and everything like that. And they've shown me how they're doing their makeup. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. I'm gonna be trying to recreate their look on one side of my face and do my look on this side of my face. Wait, I'm gonna do my look on this side of my face <laughs> and recreate their look on this side of my face. Today's video is actually sponsored by Sephora. I'm gonna be using Fenty Beauty and NARS. These are some of my favorite, favorite foundations. Fenty Beauty just actually came out with 10 new shades and they rounded their foundation range from 40 to 50, so that's pretty cool. And I've just been obsessed with this NARS foundation. I feel like all of 2018, I was wearing this. If you haven't done so already, make sure you are subscribed, join the family, and I'm gonna go ahead and jump up straight in. So I just did my brows off camera so that I can explain to you guys why they are different. So on this brow, this is how I would see makeup artists do my brows in my opinion. They love a very soft natural brow and that's what this is giving me. And then on this brow, this is just a little bit more defined. This is kind of how I've been doing my brows lately. A little bit darker than I'm used to, but I wanted to make sure you guys saw the difference. I'm using the Giorgio Armani Maestro UV primer on this side of my face. And on this side, I'm gonna use the Fenty Pro Filter Primer. This is the NARS. With the NARS foundation, I got shade matched on the shade matching tool. So pretty much what it is, you go onto Sephora.com, you put in what shade you are in the foundation you're currently using, and then it pulls up your shade match and the new brand that you're interested in trying. And then for Fenty, I'm gonna be using the shade 490. This one's just a closer match to my chest and is more similar in tone with the um, with the NARS foundation, the Molly shade. And then this is the Fenty. So I'm gonna go ahead and start blending in my NARS shade here. Just work that in. Both of these foundations could go either way with this look. It just depends on what you wanna use. And with makeup artists, I've noticed like less is more. Like if you need more coverage, they'll go back over it afterwards and not just pack it all on at once. The coverage on the NARS is buildable to full coverage. They have about 34 shades. And when they first came out, I was like, yes. I was so excited about this foundation. It has a glowy, natural, like radiant finish. I'm gonna use the Cover FX uh, Power Play Concealer. And I'm gonna use the littlest amount of this. So we've got that on there. I'm just gonna blend that out. My neighbors are singing to Beyonce right now and she is screaming at the top of her lungs. <laughs> She's really into it. Um, I've seen them a lot use like this sponge. This is just like a Laura Mercier little powder puff thingy. So I'm gonna try that today. Ooh, that did not come out bad at all. All right, so for my eye, all I did was just get some shimmer and I just put it on my eyelid just like that. And I think that's all we're gonna do with the eyes for real, for real, because it's just supposed to be a very, 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 very simple look. This is the Dior Show um, Pump and Volume Mascara. Oh, hi lashes. Let me get in close so y'all can see these lashes, these babies. <laughs> So for blush, I'm gonna use the NARS Exhibit A blush. It's this really orangey shade and it just adds a nice healthy glow to your face. And it just looks, to me, it almost looks the most natural on me. I'm just gonna top my lips off with this Dior Attic Lip Balm in the shade Dior Eve. So for the my side of this video, I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation. You have to make sure to shake this foundation so all the pigments in there can be just like distributed equally. So I'm just gonna start applying this. 
And with this foundation, it does dry down to its true color. So you have to, if you're matching yourself in store, make sure you let it dry down first so you can see its true color. This one has a really nice soft matte finish and it can be used for this side of the face too for like a more simple, more toned down glam look. Blend away. And then for this side of the face, I'm gonna use a more berry shade. This is the Bare Minerals You Had Me at Marlow. I like to use this one for my more glam looks. See how it just looks already so much more glam than this side? This side, I said that orange gives you that natural glow from within, whereas this side is like, okay, I'm here to stay, but I need to calm down again because we don't wanna look like a clown. So I'm just doing a lightly smoky eye. Just very lightly. All right, and then I'm just gonna put a little shimmer on the lid. Ooh. First time I've used this shade and it is a beautiful. So um, my camera decided to play me and go ahead and time out, but I was in the middle of doing my wing line. Do some highlight for this side. I'm gonna use the same highlighter, the Dior. This time I might just go in a little bit heavier. So I just put a lash on and then I'm going to finish it off with my Sephora Always Red lipstick. Alrighty guys, so these are both sides of the faces done. This is my all glam, how I would normally do my makeup. And then this one is just kind of like, just glow, like glow from within. So this is my take on how I think a makeup artist would do my makeup and how I do my makeup. You guys know I love a red lip. I can do my signature look without a red lip, so I had to give you guys that red. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how this side looks on its own. What do you guys think? And then this side. So I love the NARS foundation because it gives you a really nice dewy glow and it just gives you that glow from within. And I also love the Fenty foundation because when it says soft matte, it's soft matte. Like it's not gonna dry you out so in the summer months. I really love the Fenty foundation for that. Obviously I'm not gonna go rocking around like this. I look like Too Faced, but I wanna know what you guys think down below in the comments. Which side do you guys like? Thank you so much to Sephora for collaborating with me on this video. I know this is silly and I actually think both sides look amazing. Make sure you guys go into Sephora, check out the shade match tool and don't forget Sephora lets you have samples. So you can get up to three samples, take them home with you, give them a try. And then when you commit onto one foundation, you can go ahead and just go pick up your shade without any stress. If you've enjoyed today's video, make sure you go ahead and give me a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe if you have not done so already. Don't forget to turn on your notifications somewhere over here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Lots of love and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> I'm sorry, I keep laughing. I just can't take myself seriously. <laughs> but they look so good. Both sides look so good. I look snatched on both sides. Dang. It's gonna be a hard decision for you guys.